first reader. Uh, we missed him last time a lot, and he's back. He's read at every stanza apart from the last one. It's Ira Director, the great Ira Director. Well, I don't know about the great Ira Director, but it is great to be here and uh, to see all you po poetry lovers, uh, writers, uh, musicians. Um, as you probably know or might know from looking at your program, I am a graduate of the Barlon School of Creative Writing. If you want to know more about uh, getting a master's degree in creative writing or poetry, either look on the site or talk to me during the break. Now, um, Dan asked for a Thanksgiving poem, so I'm going to give him a Thanksgiving poem. And uh, the poem has a lot to do with a bigger issue, which is uh, memory. And there's different kinds of memory. Like, I, I remember, unfortunately, that I have a dentist appointment next Tuesday. That's one kind of memory. But there's another kind of memory that's hardwired into our brains, into our bodies, into the way we smell and feel and taste. And when that kind of memory kicks off, it very often becomes a poem. And that's a lot what this poem is about. This is my prop. <laughs> Apple Pie, 1958. Thanksgiving in Natanya was surprise enough after all these years. So what if there was stuffed chicken instead of turkey? There was real chunky cranberry sauce and sweet potato pie with melted marshmallows. It brought me back. But it wasn't until I took a bite of Debbie's apple pie that I found myself back with my cousins climbing through the apple trees in that autumn morning in Highland Park in 1958. As we climbed, we tossed down the apples from for the kids to gather and fill the bags our aunts and uncles were carrying. We got to climb, pick, and the apple pie after Thanksgiving tasted even better that year. Thanksgiving in Natanya was surprise enough after all those years with real stuffing, chunky cranberry sauce, Sweet potato pie with melted mushrooms and a bite of that apple pie. Thank you very much. <laughs>